Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, I'm down here in Port Orange today, and I was actually going to come here and do a follow-up video on the previous one where uh, Port Orange Police Department City here was actually citing people left and right for parking on the grass. Well, they took a turn. I didn't realize they were going to do this. They took a turn for the better but the worse at the same time. You see, they've got lots of uh, signage up here now that says, Do Not Block Sidewalk. And as we go down just a little bit further, show you what comes up here. Some more of those signs like that. And no parking anytime added there just recently. But one of the signs that they've added right here is parallel parking only, as you guys can see right there. So what they're doing is they're opening up some of this space here that previously people were getting cited for a $30 fine. And uh, since there's nothing going on around like with movies there's no uh, theme parks none of that so everybody's down here either the beach getting rides on boats with friends going out fishing uh, kayaking anything of those long lines along those lines like that and what's occurring is this place was getting overpopulated so i came down here after seeing and got a complaint from someone that said they were getting tickets down here and writing them all but they don't provide any other parking abilities i decided to come do that video well way down there all the way at the end of this road way down there there's actually another area to park at and the city and, and all of their posts and so on and so forth they fail to mention that it's a city-owned um, parking lot I guess you would say right across from a business called Ant Catfish but they continuously fail to say that you can park down here I don't know why they don't want to educate uh, but what happened now as we're down here let me tell you they've added about 30% more parking down here. But if you guys can see it up here as I go up to this sign, I'll, it may not because of the LED on it. But it says new parking violation. Starting July 1st, fines will be $100. So they've increased the parking down here. I'm just approximating it as, as about 30%. And they've increased the fine by three times. There you go. So they basically negated out uh, the parking, but still, if you decide to park in an area where you can't, they're still going to make their own money. They're still going to make the money that they were making down here before. Now, one of the council members did tell me, you know, hey, listen, this isn't, this is, the city doesn't care about money about this, this place down here. Well, I did a public records request. I'll leave it a pinned comment for 2019 to see how much uh, they made or citations they made in here. They write a city ordinance violation, which was, I believe, was thirty dollars last time, and uh, from January, February, and March, I think I tallied up like it was something like ten thousand dollars in fines. Now, I don't know anybody that doesn't say ten thousand dollars is not a lot of money to someone, and they don't care about it because this area down here is funded. I don't know if the city's funded with it, but it's state and federal grants, and and uh, I don't know if the city contributes anything to it except for maybe cleaning the bathrooms, but I'm sure I'll get a comment below that says it will. Uh, they do or they something along those lines. So here's another thing that they've done down here. They've added this sign right here for until July 1st, I'm imagining. They'll probably start writing warnings. I hope they will. They'll probably say that, no, this is warning enough. If you can't read that, that's it. But when you're coming in here with your boat, you're focused on not trying to hit other vehicles and boats and kids running across the parking lot, and that's that. So this section down here, this was uh, previously had some parking stuff. You can see the dirt down there is a new sign that's put in here. So they don't want you to park right here on this grass or in this little swale. And when we go down just a little bit further, this is a staging area for the boats. They have appropriated some spots in here or left it to where you can park in some of these grassy little knolls like maybe right here i don't see anything that says no single vehicle parking so it must be a trailer there uh, but what they've also done is went ahead and got these posts in here to block it off so that no one can come in to these sections right here as i was mentioning i think it's some positive i guess i don't know you know putting this stuff in here like this uh, it, it will prevent people from parking in there and getting citations. And that's a tight area anyway. Same thing with this one here. But what are these islands here for? I mean, I, I know it would be expensive to probably come in here and put parking in here, except for like they always use that term curb appeal. So 
So that's going to be that. So yeah, when we're coming down here, you look at all this. There are a lot of boats here. This is uh, Friday. And it's probably like, what, uh, 3 o'clock. So there's a lot of people on the boats right now. It's not full like the weekend is. And that's how it goes. So here's another new sign right here. It looks like it is anyway. Yeah. Not going around it. So they've clearly come down here and mark off where you can and block off where you can't. And that's going to be that. But again, if we want to talk about the disappointment, uh, when one of the council members did say that, he's like, yeah, we're, probably a good idea to start looking. Now, I'm paraphrasing, I don't know his words exactly, but he did mention that they want to increase the fines down here and, uh, and make it where people will think twice about parking in no parking zones. But as I was mentioning, and as I'm going to assert here, they, they increased the parking by 30%, but also increased their fines by the same amount. Because in my opinion, the city cares about the fines down here. Otherwise, they would have done this a long time ago. But that's some of the results. Hopefully the video that we got there got it shared. A bunch of people may have called. I had been on this one for a little bit. Uh, this is where that car got broken into. And you can see a couple of people still sitting here and hanging out, leaving their cars here. However, that's what I have to think about it. Uh, they have a problem. They didn't want to address it. They've had it like this for years. Now they did, but they increased the fine. All right, that's going to be it, guys. Thanks for watching, liking, subscribing. And I will leave uh, you guys with this one. We have a couple more videos coming out. I got some from Titusville waiting. I met a corporal down there. Super awesome guy. I, I, I just couldn't believe the conversation I had with him. Really nice guy. And I will be sharing that shortly here. So in the meantime, see you again soon.